Cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting are not the same. Understanding their differences is important to safely and effectively carry out your school's comprehensive cleaning program. Cleaning removes dust, dirt, grime, and some germs from surfaces or objects. Cleaning does not kill germs, but it lowers their numbers and makes it difficult for germs to survive and multiply, reducing the risk of spreading infection. Continuous cleaning should be done throughout the entire school environment. But high touch points or areas that are touched frequently by many different people should be cleaned even more often. Using certain tools such as microfiber mops and cloths, high efficiency filtration vacuums and steam cleaning machines can help make cleaning more effective. A thorough ongoing cleaning program is very important in controlling the spread of infection in schools. However, there are times when cleaning is just not enough. In those instances, cleaning should be done first, followed by either sanitizing or disinfecting. Sanitizing reduces germs on surfaces to a safe level to help decrease the risk of spreading infection. Sanitizing is done through high heat or by using a sanitizing product registered by the EPA. Sanitizing is more effective if the surface is cleaned first. Sanitizing is required by regulation in food service areas and in child care centers. Disinfecting kills most germs on surfaces. The process of disinfecting does not leave a surface clean or remove germs, which is why cleaning should be done first. Disinfecting in schools is recommended for targeted use in high-risk areas and for high-risk incidents. High-risk areas pose a greater risk for transmitting infectious diseases. They include high touch points and other high-risk locations in the school environment. High-risk areas also include any location where a high-risk incident occurs. High-risk incidents are accidents or events that include vomit, feces, blood, and other bodily fluids. Certain situations require extra care, such as managing disease outbreaks and cleaning bodily fluids. Vomit and diarrhea can transmit norovirus, a highly contagious virus that is the most common cause of diarrhea and vomiting in the U.S. During a norovirus outbreak, disinfecting is critical. When incidents involve blood or other bodily fluids, staff should follow the disinfecting protocols outlined in a school or district's bloodborne pathogen training. For safety reasons, whenever possible, disinfectants should be used after normal school hours when students are not present. Knowing how and when to properly clean, sanitize, or disinfect can help maintain a safe and healthy school environment. <laughs>